The North American Ranked Royale comes down to this one match. Daniel and Jack in the mix for first, and we'll cover it a little bit more as we get into the game. We'll go over all the scenarios in the game for the YouTube video. That way, people don't have to sit and stare at me looking at Liquipedia. Yo, Mr. Jakara, thank you for the prime. Okay, here we go. We got First Killer versus Daniel in the final match of the Ranked Royale. What does Daniel need to do if he wants to win it all? He just needs to win this match. He'll be 3-0 against everybody else in the pool. First Killer is looking for just a bit more money, and the way he does that is by winning at least 3-1 against Daniel. If he only lets Daniel have a single game, he'll take over second place. And if he does win... It will lead to Jack winning the pool, and that comes by Jack having a 3-0 win in the previous round against First Killer. Huge win for him. He's going to do a lot in terms of making it possible to get first after dropping a game to Daniel. But Daniel's not the kind of guy to lose to just anybody. Daniel and First Killer have played, is it only once before? Daniel and First Killer, I think, played once before. Daniel, by the way, in the Danmobile to start today. He went and finished his 1v1 against Jack in the Danmobile. But he's not even going to mess around. He's going to go right to his secret weapon at the beginning of the series against First Killer. But as I was saying, I think these guys have played once before, maybe. And that was on Johnny Boy's stream as a show match shortly after Gamers 8. And that one was a sweep, I believe, for Daniel. I don't think they've played again since then. Daniel versus First Killer has been a match that me as a North American show match runner has wanted for a long time. And finally, we get it here on the channel in a best of five in a tournament context. Who will be the one to come out on top? First Killer on the board early. Daniel going to go to those Batmobile flicks. First killer able to save the first attempt. He actually swings wide to the corner boost. Takes a chance in order to grab 100 and come back to net. And Daniel falls to the ground and just slams a shot near post. I mean, first killer is pointed right there. That's right where he's prepping to make a save. And yet it's still too fast for first killer to deal with. Daniel wants a pinch. First killer... Sends it to the ceiling. Unable to follow it up. Another pinch. This time from first killer. Daniel has to avoid own goaling as he clears the ball across the net, his net. Daniel deciding against taking the air drill because first killer going for that ceiling challenge. Credit to first killer for neutralizing Daniel's attack. He ends up getting Really no scoring opportunity at all from that possession. Gets to start another dribble from his back corner. Early flick. First killer collects it and doubles it into the corner. That is the classic way to handle the ball being shot high at your nets. But we've seen lots of players nowadays trying to get even greedier and look for those psychos. Daniel, low 15. Something that I would think would be a little bit harder to do in a shorter hitbox. One thing that people do talk about for the Batmobile, I remember, is it being very hard to demo. Is that something that you guys have experienced as well? The plank hitbox cars seem like they are made of a stronger material. Daniel, nice setup off the wall. Able to jump back to it. First killer wins the race to the midfield boost and was going to have an awkward time potentially corralling the ball as it 
goes into his half, but Daniel elects to just leave and let him control it with no contest. And now it's first killer in a wall to air dribble and a second goal. Daniel pre-jumping and floating, not using any boost. He had a lot of boost to work with if he really wanted to, but he decides to just come back down to the ground. Daniel really does love his pre-jumps when it comes to defending dribbles. First killer down one, the minute 40 left to go. Daniel just lobbing shots at first killer's nets. Almost let first killer in, in fact he did. Thought he was probably playing safe. First killer finds a way to escape and get a goal. Daniel was able to get the save and that was ultimately bouncing out, but First killer's around to finish it off. Daniel. Kickoff win and a bounce dribble. Out of low boost first killer. Able to grab 100. First killer fakes the challenge off the ceiling. Daniel. Cannot score on this attempt. Still has boost control though. First killer. Likely to have to leave here. Give Daniel a ton of space. What is Daniel going to do when he's playing in the Danmobile? He's going to take the ball to the ground and try and flick. And he did not get the kind of power he probably wanted. Soft shot. First killer saves and launches the counterattack shot before the demo comes in. Now Daniel playing from behind. Power shot, the surprise first killer. So often on these bounces, you'll see the player let it rise and take it up for a dribble. First killer, maybe trying to position in preparation for that, but what he gets instead, it's an immediate power shot to tie the game. First killer, kickoff win, Daniel did not really take that ball out of dangerous way. Lost the kickoff and was looking Try and prevent it from being a goal, but he just slams it off the corner. That's a great pass. We see first killer picks up any of these kickoffs late. Hope these guys go standard. Leads to a Daniel win. Ball to air dribble off the left wall. And Daniel waits as long as possible to take the shot. First killer able to stay patient and get the save. Daniel goes flying by the ball. And first killer is in absolutely no rush. With not a lot of time left on the clock. In fact, he's going to kill it on the goal line if Daniel doesn't try and take it away from him but it looks like first killer maybe almost accidentally scores it because Daniel was not headed back over there wave dash kickoff for first killer has to leave the ball Daniel's got to make a bit of magic happen with zero boost and he almost did first killer allowed him to get past him by trying to dive but it will be a first killer win in game number one. GG's from both these guys. The Danmobile doesn't cut it this time. Will he stick with it as we head to game number two? Game two. Daniel still in the Batmobile. First killer wasn't able to find a win today against Jack. But it's quickly on the board against Dan. Daniel. Able to deal with the pressure in his own half. On the board with the lead. First killer kickoff win. Daniel sets him up for a wall to air dribble to buy himself a moment to grab boost. First killer's fake. Is handled by Daniel. He's able to stop the ball off the bounce. Now he's trying to flick the other way. There's the flick. But Daniel's likely looking for it when he's playing in this car. First killer going to have to continue to play in net with low boost after making a tough save. Although he's gotten actually 50 by the time, 62 even by the time Daniel takes the shot. But maybe a bit too focused on picking up those pads. 
ends up him being in a position where he cannot stop that play. First killer. Huge launch. Daniel. Able to control the ball. First killer's plan is certainly to get Daniel to make a tough save and then keep him pinned on the back line, but that's not what happens. Daniel's able to play his possession. Immediately in for a goal. So a 3-0 lead for Daniel. Daniel doesn't grab the midfield boost. So now he's going to try and play with zero. It was such a great position for him. And it turned into a terrible one with a simple miss. You do not want to be on the ball that deep in the opponent's half with no plan for boost. He elected to try and just go for a 50 to see if he could buy himself a bit more time. He did not. First killer flip into the reset. Daniel has the save and is first to the boost. Might have even been able to chip it on target as he drove around the corner. Daniel, another kickoff win. No dribble this time. Brings the ball down. Front flip flick. He looks to make first killer do some work in net. First killer tried to end the possession after the first attempt. Made a couple aggressive plays on the ball, but Daniel stays in control. Isn't able to steal the corner boost, but he might have baited first killer out. Tried to punish with the power shot. First killer got the save the other way. Runs out of boost as he makes his final play. Daniel seems like he's leaving the net a bit open. First killer couldn't control the high bounce fast enough to take a shot. First killer now probably has a chance. Wasn't able to put that on target. Daniel will lob the clear. And now it's first killer to the ceiling. Daniel's pre-jumping and he's right in the right position. Looking down with your camera. It's not going to save you this time, Daniel. As he had used... All of his boosts, pretty much everything he could do. I think he had a bit left over, but once you have that much momentum down on the ground, not much you can do to avoid first killer chasing him. All the camera look does is gives you a preview of what's to come. Daniel, bounce dribble hook shot, actually saved by first killer and keeping it that close on the goal line. Makes it so that he gets the next touch after getting back to the ball. Daniel wanted the sidewall double. Now he'll have to play defense against first killer in the air. Looks like that left side of the net was open for a moment, but Daniel shuts the window. Daniel wall dashing to try and get back to this one. Didn't have boost left over to work with was hoping that a wall dash might give him the speed to jump off from the wall and intercept this one but the first killer now within one Daniel half flip kickoff first killer wants to go back into his corner but just gets demoed and if he doesn't spawn on this correct side actually Daniel didn't get a strong enough first touch there Daniel catches this into a bounce, goes for the air dribble bump, and doesn't need to connect with first killer because he scared him off the ball. Daniel launching a Batmobile flick and then undercutting first killer and forcing him to own goal. After he launched the flick, he wants to mess up first killer's landing in order to guarantee that he's able to make a play on the ball. First killer actually managed to get Daniel out of the way, but in the process of doing so, slaps the ball into the net for him. Daniel trying to get a quick shot off of first killer's setup. 
Whiskler on the back wall. Feels off the ball. Elects to grab the corner boost and try and live to see another day, but Daniel able to carry it out. Resets on the 100 at the midfield and the front flip flick puts him up 7-3. First killer, back wall double. Nothing Daniel can do about it. Such an impressive play. And when they're playing at this level, they're all just layups. He knows Daniel's low. He slams it off the backboard and then gets back to the ball early. And Daniel doesn't have a single moment where he can get up to interfere. And first killer can convert it for a goal. That pinch definitely hit the back wall before Daniel could do anything about it. It was off target, which was fortunate for Daniel. Had a bit on. It might have been another goal. First killer follows it up. So he's within two, 25 seconds. I've seen this happen so many times so far in this event. Somebody seems like they're about to walk away with a game and then a few quick goals and all of a sudden it's possible. First killer needs something quick. So he launches the ball back to the orange half and he's continuing to just slam the ball, hoping for an immediate opportunity, but it never really comes. And so the game will end in favor of Daniel. First killer, one last chance on the sidewall redirects. Daniel will even the series up. Stuck with the Batmobile and it works. 1-1 one, one in the best of five. Drupal, thank you for the three months of Prime. First killer, I believe if he wants to get second, cannot drop another game. If he drops another game to Daniel, I do think that means he finishes in third, even if he does end up winning the series. But I think there's more on the line than just placement at the end of the day. First killer wants revenge for their previous matchup that went heavily in favor of Daniel. Daniel, of course, still possible for him to win the whole tournament as a win over first killer would mean he went 3-0. Daniel able to find a window to score. First killer was hoping to launch the ball into his corner in an unscorable position so that he could buy himself a bit of time, grab boost, and recollect the ball. Instead, Daniel equalizes. Daniel pinching this out of the midfield. First killer able to play through the pain of the bump, but Daniel actually makes it back, and now it's going to be Daniel scoring. First killer thought that he was going to be able to have a window to score there. Trying to go for it. Turns out to be an all-in play. It'll be Daniel with the lead. Kickoff win. It's huge by first killer. Can he convert it? He can. I've seen a couple people now talk about the Batmobile looking disgusting. And, and I wonder if it's just people who didn't watch Fairy Peak back in the day. I just feel like I've watched enough Fairy Peak and knowing that the best to ever do it did it in the Batmobile makes it immediately not ugly to me. Quickster as well, yeah. But if we want to keep it, I mean, yeah, Quickster also played ones in the Batmobile too. Daniel kick off win. First killer able to send the dribble up to ceiling height. Daniel, 30 boost. Wants to try and see if he can extend his possession and with good reason because he's able to score. It's hard as that defender. Even with 100 boost, you look at first killer's boost total. He's got more than enough boost to do whatever he wants. 
But when you're backed up all the way in your corner, it can be tough to start to control the possession. Daniel knows that, so he sticks around and side flip earns him a chance on net. Nice shot by Daniel. Air dribble resets. Places the ball high, directly above first killer. First killer trying to jump in and turning back to where his front flip will take him out of the net, but it's all just too late. Sonics nerfed the Batmobile. Yeah, around, I remember around the time of the standardization, standardization of hitboxes, Batmobile used to have like its own hitbox or something. Daniel gets another one quickly off the kickoff. And then they changed it. And of course, Cookser, who was like mind melded with the Batmobile, instantly could tell that it was different. And I thought he was able to convince them to switch it back or something. First killer. Cannot find a way to score. It's a very strong first touch. I don't know if Daniel meant to sneak under the ball there or if he's trying to take it into the corner and forgot that he was in the lowest profile car. He's got a little bit of boost to work with here on the Batmobile. Fakes the flick and then takes the safer option of going to the ground and trying to see if he can guide it into the net on the bottom left. Daniel driving through the ball here. Hasn't been able to make a attack with more than a couple bit of boost the past few moments. As he tries to chip the ball up to carry it here. First killer is there to stop it. Now Daniel with a bit of space. Long shot immediately. First killer able to avoid falling into the net with the save, which means there will be a possession for him now. Daniel likes to pre-jump, so you imagine he's going to meet him here at the ceiling. First killer actually is able to get it past. He throws the whoops. For Daniel, who ends up ground pinching it in. Daniel says, no problem, my man. <laughs> oh, what? First killer is talking to himself, he says. <laughs> Every car had its own hitbox back in the day. Is that true? I thought a couple, people had, a couple of the cars had similar ones, but now that you say that, I do remember big spreadsheets of every single car and the slight differences before they all just became the same. First killer just passes to Daniel, really. It's kind of the only way to describe these kind of plays in 1v1. You shoot while in the air, wide enough of the net that the defender doesn't even have to think about making a save. You better believe that that ball will be back in your net before you know it. Daniel up 6-4 with a minute left to go tries to tilt down in order to kill the bounce so he could continue to maintain possession as he moves to the side wall. He knew he wasn't going to be able to get a long distance double from there but it didn't work out. Daniel thought about going in and out of the net. Might have been better off if he had actually stuck to that. Instead brings himself back down to the ground and Rose Killer finds his way around him. 50 seconds for Daniel to hold on. Go up 2-1 in this series. First killer chasing him down. Doesn't have the boost to stop Daniel now. Daniel is taking a, his sweet time. He's wasting just a few more seconds off. Definitely could have made his shot a bit faster. 36. Any kickoff shenanigans for first killer in store. He needs him now. Delay kickoff, but it goes really well for Daniel. I want to watch it again on the first killer side of the ball. Wanted to maybe direct it to the side wall to the right. I don't think he committed to that hard enough, though. Normally, someone ultra delaying changes their angle a bit more than he did. Daniel, another kickoff goal. 9 5. Go next, says first killer. I was expecting to see something like that because Daniel certainly has confirmed this one. Game number three goes to Daniel. One win away from taking the ranked Royale.
Game number four. First killer and Daniel. First killer. Now just looking for revenge on his previous match against Daniel. Daniel was able to get the full sweep. I believe Daniel lost game number one here, but since then, the Batmobile is working well for him. Daniel's going to drop one in for first killer, though. He throws the sorry. Don't know why he'd be apologizing. First killer will gladly take the tie game. First killer now. The heavy boost advantage. <laughs> These two having quite the crazy battle here in the corner. Ultimately, first killer decides to leave. He could have stuck around a little bit longer, maybe stolen boost from Daniel. But he wants to just let Daniel have the ball. Daniel leading back into the musty. First killer doubles to hand it right back. Daniel now trying to slowly pick apart first killer in nets. First killer. Out back to the ball quickly. Now might have to get a bit creative in order to score this one. Daniel dove. <laughs> Daniel saying he needs boost to get back, but he's not going to make it there. The ball fell far off the corner, which made Daniel feel like he had a chance to go intercept it. But a cheeky pre flip from first killer gets all the movement he needs. Daniel is going to tie it right back up. Kickoff goal makes it square. First killer into Daniel's corner. Try and see, sneak the ball in. Daniel slamming it hard the opposite way, but first killer is still able to find the goal. These guys are quick chatting like they just discovered quick chat works. <laughs> Everybody remember <laughs> how they used to play when you finally realized you could talk to the other person and every single play was worthy of saying something. <laughs> That's definitely what they're doing now. First killer knows Daniel going to beat him to that midfield boost. He tried to get creative with some sort of sidewall double. <laughs> Daniel says, I'll take that. First killer starting to dribble it away from his half. <laughs> and, for, and Daniel just drives up and says, I'll take it from here, bud. Bumps him away. And then fakes the first shot before Following it up into the left side of the net. Kickoff win for Daniel. Ceiling reset. Doesn't use it. Decides to come down to the ground and just see if he can protect the ball. First killer, great placement. Daniel is there. Costs him all the boost in his tank, but he's cleared it with enough strength. He has time to grab 100. First killer in the air again. Daniel. Sends it to the ceiling. First killer will be first back to the ball. Looks to hold on to his possession. This time a ground dribble. Cannot flick it past Daniel who saves it off the post. The follow up though will be a goal. I wonder if Daniel was forced to make this save. Seems like he was. Sometimes players will aim for the post when they have the choice to set up counter attacks but that looked like Daniel just barely being able to get around the ball. Thought about going into first killer's corner. Thinks better of it. Back into his zone off this kickoff. A dunk, that's directly in. A tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Two minutes left to go. Kickoff 
in favor of first, but he not able to find anything with it. <laughs> Daniel, he's spamming boost. Is that what it sounds like when you spam boost with none to use in the Batmobile? First killer almost able to get that through. Crossbar down. Daniel gets credited with the save. Now first killer long shot is really just a pass. Daniel drops there, dribble on top of first killer, but he's quick into the corner. Nice recovery from first killer. It seemed like Daniel was going to be able to punish him for coming out to meet him there. Now, first air dribble bump. Daniel pre jumps, take it away. We just saw Daniel take a ground dribble away from first killer. If it weren't for the bump, it seems like for, uh, Daniel was about to do the same in the air. Just tell him I'll take that. Daniel, if he can gain the lead, to be a minute away from winning the tournament. He hits this one over the top of first killer and has enough boost to fly through to make sure the first killer has no recovery. But that backflip challenge meant first killer was not making it back no matter what. Daniel staying on the blue half for a moment before deciding to go back to the corner. First killer's air dribble. Oh, what a save from Daniel. He's had a couple really impressive saves on first killer air dribbles. And that one might just be the one that wins him the tournament. First killer deciding he didn't like his setup, tries to take it to the ground. Daniel becomes enough of a pest to stop first killer from having a follow up. Killer places this one on target. 10 seconds to go. First killer still has the possession. Collects the ball with 100 to work with. Air dribble bump. Daniel gets around it and sends it into the blue half. This one will hit the ground. First killer throws the GGs. Daniel 3 0 to win the ranked Royale on the North American side of the tournament. And you know what that means, right? It means I'll be offering Daniel the match against Zen.